Hey guys, this is Victor here and this is a very short one. The Cardano Summit is currently ongoing. This, today is day two of the summit and yesterday they made certain announcements that I think are very important and should impact um, some of my plans regarding investing in the Cardano ecosystem. Um, so regarding day one announcements, one of the things that the uh, one of the announcements that we made yesterday was partnerships with the Dish Network as well as Chainlink. Now regarding Dish Network, they will be providing um, digital identity services to the customers of Dish, which I think is also interesting because that is something Cardano has been big on. If you look at the partnerships with the African government, it's just some level of digital identity provision, um, standardized decentralized digital identity provision within that system and i think that it's some leverage in terms of uh, providing serious utility for the cardano token and but the one i really want to talk about is the partnership with Chainlink, which got a lot of people like shocked and surprised and people are acting um like it just came out of the blues but actually if you went back to this report from the coin telegraph on august 28 2020 New Cardano based project is handling oracles a lot differently than Chainlink. And it asked the question Will Cardano rely on these oracles or integrate with Chainlinks? Now, here they did talk about how Cardano was in partnerships with Ergo to provide services for the Cardano blockchain uh, prior to smart contract capability. And that was where Ergo came into play. But they were also asking so here it says Remo started speculating. When Cardano founder Charles Oskarson tweeted about talking to Chainlink's co-founder Sergey Nazarov, some were expecting an announcement to be made soon about Cardano integrating Chainlink's oracles. However, thus far, these rumors have not materialized. Likely, Cardano is in no hurry as there is little use for oracles before the Gurgen era. At the same, it allows it time to test oracle infrastructure developed in-house. So, this has been in the works for over a year now, and so it's not news to the cardano team it's probably something that they have known for a very long time and open secret obviously as has been um, reported by by coin telegraph but people felt that it was mind-blowing news when cardano announced this partnership with Chainlink and to be candid it's something that I did not also also have on my radar because of the integration with Ergo pre smart contract launch I also kind of felt that Ergo was going to be the oracle of choice in terms of um, was going to be Cardano's oracle of choice and hence the prediction that Ergo was going to be the one that would be the go-to Oracle supplier for Cardano. But there's uh, there are several interesting mixes here and that is one, how does that affect our investments into Ergo as well as Chainlink and do the pre-existing arrangement with Ergo continue while they also still integrate with Chainlink? So we don't have much information regarding how this partnership will work with the two different organizations or are they different the, the funny part here is this this is a tweet from Amergo about a year ago say what if we told you that alex chipanoi founder of ergo also founded smartcontrol.com which eventually became chainlink okay and that was in response to the announcement they made the same 28th of august 2020 so this was the announcement they made last year at the same time they were also contemplating a contract with Chainlink, and i think they were just trying to clear the air or to just put out hints out there that hey look Chainlink and ergo are really the same people um so i, I i'm really interested to see how this pans out but it also kind of gives a level of visibility towards um, chain link directly integrating as being the official oracle for cardano and so i definitely also need to start looking into chain link much more closely if we look at the price of chain link right now you see the chain link is trading at about 24 dollars but it has an all-time high of around 50 dollars many people prior to this time had actually predicted that chain link would do a lot better than it currently is 
and i do think that if DeFi explodes on cardano Spark smart chain then um, we should expect a lot of price action for Chainlink also right now because now being the official oracle supplier for cardano you can expect that this is going to explode already Chainlink provides 70 percent um, so pro provides oracle support for 70 percent of the entire DeFi space um, to add cardano into the mix means that they would also be getting a bigger chunk of that pie and so um in the short term you can almost expect a return back to that 50 range and um, maybe even more to more to come in the coming uh, months total supply is about a billion right now and um, why I was really looking at um, ergo and I still I still have ergo within my site ergo has a total supply of 36 million ergo is a lot more than just a an oracle supply and that is one of the reasons why I will still have ergo in my bag I still believe that ergo is one of the projects that is currently grossly undervalued and needs to have more exposure and I still believe that you need to have some ergo within your wallet as far as I'm concerned no financial advice it's a no-brainer but Chainlink with this partnership now opens up a new level of exposure Chainlink with this partnership opens up a new level of exposure to this particular Oracle and but the fact that they're owned by the same set of people I don't know how that really plays out overall maybe someone can help me out within the, the comment section how do you think this pans out over time where should we be looking at um where should we be putting our money uh, does it affect the price of Chainlink, or is it inconsequential to the price action that Chainlink is going to be having over time i don't think so but let's have this conversation let's talk about it and that's the reason why i bring it up here so um day two of the summit is still going on and we'll probably have more announcements as more news will come out from that summit thanks for sticking out with me on this one until i catch you in the next one stay blessed